Cheers for watching, it's Siobhan and today I'm going to do my May wrap up. I basically failed this month with reading but I was busy doing other stuff like Pride and getting ready for a holiday but uh, I was supposed to do Asian Readathon. Uh, there was a TBR for that. Uh, I read one book for Asian Readathon and then another one that was not a part of my plan. Uh, the first book I read in the month was uh, Never Grow Up by Jackie Chan and I did vlog while reading this but I ended up scrapping those videos. I would have explained in my vlog that I'll try and link in the description. Um, at the end of that vlog I explain why I'm, I scrapped those uh, videos or vlogs but um, with this book, uh, I went into it already angry, I would probably say at Jackie Chan, after recently, probably not even long after I bought this book, my cousin told me that as far as he knew, or he was told, that he was homophobic. And he ended up disowning his daughter because she was, I think, gay or at least bisexual. Uh, so I already went into this disliking him because I am in the LGBT community. Um, so I was already pissed as hell. But then, at the same time, I admire him so much for his acting and all of the stuff that he's done in terms of acting um, that I thought, I'll just read it anyway. And I was that angry that I was going to end up burning the book. Oh, uh, that's my dog. Uh, my mum must be home. <laughs> I had mixed feelings throughout this book up until the end and then throughout the book I actually found out that he had an affair uh, he's still with his wife that he married his whole life you know but he had an affair uh, when he was married and that other woman ended up having a kid and I was like maybe that's the kid that he disowned uh, you know, it was the affair kid, and I thought maybe that's what it is. So I, I finished the book because I was curious at this point. And in the book, he did uh, explain that he was not a nice person when he was younger. Uh, he did a lot of bad things that he shouldn't have done because he basically he even said himself it was like overnight success. Um, there's even a chapter called that, so, um, he, I'm going to put the book down, it's kind of heavy, but, uh, he said that he apologises for everything, and he knows that he was young, and he was stupid, and he was naive, and he should never have done the things that he did, especially the affair. Uh, so, I googled, and it turns out that the, the kid that, uh, he disowned is the... The kid of the person he had an affair with. Uh, she was a girl. And so I, my uh, instinct was right. But uh, because I was curious even more about this. I digged deeper. And I uh, found out that he's not homophobic. So phew. <laughs> Thank God for that. Because I did not want to go on hating him. And I think that because I thought that he was, I looked at the book negatively rather than positively. So that clouded my judgement and now that I've had time to think about it, I actually did enjoy the book. I learned about everything that he went through as grown up because he did have a hard childhood. It was not easy for him because that's, that's just the way it was back then in Hong Kong uh, where he grew up. Um, I don't know, he just, he had a really hard life growing up. 
And yeah, I know that's not an excuse to do some of the things he did. But he thoroughly regrets it. Um, so now that I know all of this, I ended up giving the book four stars. And I'm actually going to keep it. Because I love him as a person. Ever since I was little and I first saw one of his movies, I think the first time I ever saw him act was in the movie called Tuxedo. I think Jeff and, uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt was in it. Uh, Ghost Whisperer? I think that's where she was in. Uh, she was in that with him. And I loved that movie. I constantly borrowed it from my mum. Uh, and ever since then, I just loved his movies. I admired him in so many ways, doing all of his own stunts. Um, so I was just like, this guy is an amazing person. And he also does a lot for charity. He does, uh, he helps to build schools over in China and all that. Um, so I definitely feel differently now knowing that he's not homophobic and I can go back to how I felt about him before. And I told my cousin and he's like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, I pulled up the proof for him that he was not homophobic and he was asked in an interview how he felt about his daughter being in the LGBT community and he says as long as she's happy he's happy so it was not a problem for him so I was like I felt so much better about that and yeah apparently her, her mum was the one that had the problem so that's <laughs> a whole different story but yeah, I ended up loving this book in the end, which was a whole load of emotions while going through it. Uh, but yeah, basically that's what I talked about in the vlog, basically, um, that I ended up scrapping. But uh, yeah, my uh, opinion on it changed drastically towards the end once I found out what really happened. I guess there's the the two sides then there's the truth in the middle so uh i did find out finally the truth so i feel better about it now <laughs> so uh like i said i ended up giving it four stars uh still love him as a person now even more probably uh but yeah i'm gonna keep on watching his movies and if he brings out any other books i will probably pick them up so Apparently this took him a long time to write. Uh, it says at the back of the book that it took him years to write this book. I can't remember how long it took him to write this book. Just because he was nervous to talk about all of the things that he'd done. And he wanted to word it in a way that he felt would come across as genuine as possible with the apology of what he'd done you know he did so i'm gonna close that chapter on the hate for jackie chan and move on and feel better about it basically and keep the book because i do like him so my twitter and instagram are in the description as always uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye